Please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Uh, Udin, do you see the IT stocks resume their uh, market leadership given the way the rupee has been moving? Well, it will be the outperforming class right now. There's no question about that because of the currency. And also there is a mild suspicion that this might become a bigger global problem. So as long as that, that fear lingers, you will see the obvious parts getting a little bit of money, which is IT, which is pharmaceuticals, which may be even the retail private banks, the stronger ones, that is, and maybe some of the consumer stocks. Uh, I think the rest of the pack, the market will probably wait it out a little bit to see if the dust clears and the dust settles a little bit. And once the air clears on the global scene, you might see buying resume in some of the other pockets. But till that happens, and the rupee is still flirting dangerously with 70, I think IT, pharma, retail, private banks, and consumers might be the hiding spaces. Okay, by the way, the market's uh, recovering uh, quite a Rather bit, actually. Yeah. And even the dollar rupee has recovered, so that also is the, uh, is the factor. And as we uh, perhaps pointed out uh, in the morning itself, uh, IT is seeing at least some bit of buying. Ashwani, what's the big call for the day then? Uh, you're sticking with just, just buying the index itself. No, uh, state bank can be bought at trading at the highs of the day. Uh, you know, uh, tech, Mahindra, uh, tech stocks can be bought. See, basically, with this sort of a gap down, anything you buy is likely to recover a whole lot. Even metals, I think you would buy. Because all of this is getting priced in. Mm. To act today is to think that, you know, news has just been declared. It's getting priced in and uh, get into banks, get into metals, get into the tech stocks, and you will be in a different market maybe by end of the day if other markets also recover. Mm -hmm. Sudarshan, you doing any buying at all? No, I'm not doing any buying at all. It's too chaotic and random for me today. Okay. Bharti Airtel actually is a short sell for the day. Bharti Airtel is a short sell for the day. The uh, uh, SBI stock is actually making highs of the day. Uh, just pull out that stock intraday and that is actually mm -hmm. It Quite touched 296 in the morning. Right? Yes, and now uh, making a bit of a move. Uh, well, well then, uh, you know, I just wanted your thoughts uh, on this metal cycle, if you have uh, looked at it. Of course, there's fresh trade war fears, that apart. But, uh, you, you know, your thoughts on the likes of uh, Tata Steel uh, and other stocks uh, at current levels? I don't know about uh, trading view, uh, Anuj, because these stocks have come off a, uh, quite a bit in the last couple of days, so they could bounce. Uh, I'm not uh, an expert on that. But I would be cautious about the metal space, and I'll tell you why. Because, you know, one thing which is usually very telltale in the market is how stocks react after their results. And after the results of the declared headline numbers of many of the corporate banks, these stocks have actually jumped, <laughs> and they were not great results on the face of it. The stocks actually jumped quite a bit. The opposite happened in metals. The results were pretty okay for Hindalco, for JSPL, uh, even for sale. But stocks have not gone anywhere after the numbers. In fact, any pullback after those numbers were actually sold into. That often betrays what the market mood about a particular sector is, that the market's waiting for good news to actually give those stocks rather than uh, tank up on them. Okay. So these stocks have underperformed over the last few months. but. I think the mood and the momentum is probably against them, given fears which are now circling around uh, general global, the general global space. Well, take a, we, we got carried away by the uh, way the markets were moving, and we didn't ask you that uh, important development that would have excited you. So, Tankar resigning. Yeah. It can, it'll only be exciting news, Lata, if he joins Axis or ICICI Bank. No, he's not joining Axis. HDFC point, bank point of view, I don't think it is exciting. <laughs> no, if, who knows, I mean, you know, ICICI Bank, I, I don't know, I mean, if you're saying that he's just joining neither Axis or ICICI Bank, then I don't think it is big news, you know. HDFC Bank is not a, much that we ascribe so great powers to one individual is not a one. I mean, an institution like that cannot yeah. be a one-man yeah. uh, outfit. It has a very strong board, a suitable candidate, maybe even a better candidate will come to the fore to take on at the helm of the bank. I think if anybody is selling HDFC Bank today because of that news, I think he's making a gross mistake. If anybody is buying ICICI Bank because Parish might take over, that I don't know about. That might <coughs> be more material.